Hello everyone, Tawana Michelle here. Welcome to my channel and welcome back if you have been here before. If you don't know who I am, I am a psychotherapist and recovery coach and I help people who are struggling with codependency, narcissistic abuse, and interpersonal trauma. And today I am starting a new series that I'm excited about and I will be giving you all a uh, narcissistic abuse recovery tip <laughs> of the week. And so that's what we're gonna do today. Um, because there are so many things that I think are important for recovery and you know some of them I've made videos about some of them I want to continue making videos about but there are also times when you know you need a quick tip and you don't have time for a whole long video um, and you just you know need a quick tip to kind of refocus you reground you kind of put you in the right headspace and help you kind of remember um, some of the important things that you need to do in your recovery. So the first thing I'm going to talk about for the narcissistic abuse recovery tip of the week is that it's so important, y'all, super important to stay focused on who the narcissist is and the fact that the narcissist is actually a narcissist. That's so important because there are times, especially after you get out of the relationship with the narcissist and you are going through the recovery process, you are grieving and as you are grieving you may feel some loneliness and you have a lot of memories um, related to the narcissist some good some bad but when you are grieving the loss of a relationship or the loss of some someone in general we tend to think about and focus on a lot of the positive moments so you might be thinking a lot about the narcissist's um, positive qualities which there are some actual real positive qualities most of them are not but there are some you might be thinking about positive memories or good times that you had or times when the narcissist may have seemed very loving and very kind when the narcissist was love bombing you and this may cause you to sometimes have some doubt and to question is the narcissist really a narcissist or you know, was this behavior a result of something else, something that was going on in the relationship, maybe something that I did, you may even start to blame yourself. So you do this for a couple of reasons. One, as you're grieving, this happens. And secondly, because of cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance is when you have completely contradicting and conflicting beliefs about something. And so it's like you want to believe the narcissist is good, but you know that the narcissist is not because you've seen how cruel, evil, and abusive they can be. And it's easy to fall into denial of the abusive side of the narcissist and just want to grasp on to all of the positive things that you liked about the narcissist. But this is very dangerous because this can cause you to break your no contact. This can cause you to be vulnerable and give into the narcissist hoovering or the narcissist love bombing. And this can take you all the way back to the beginning of your recovery, to the beginning of your addiction to the narcissist. This can pull you back into the trauma bond. So just remember that the narcissist is a narcissist you are having doubts because it's normal to have doubts due to cognitive dissonance you're missing the narcissist maybe you're grieving the loss of the narcissist all of that is normal and all of that is okay when you start to do that just tell yourself this is a normal part of my recovery this is a normal part of my grief the narcissist is still a narcissist okay Repeat that to yourself as often as you need to so that you can stay focused on staying healthy, staying in your recovery process, doing your recovery work, and not falling back into the trap of the narcissist. So that's all I wanted to say, guys. That is my narcissistic abuse recovery tip of the week. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead. What are you waiting on? Share this video out with those who you think may find it helpful. And until next time, take care. Bye.